this video I'm gonna show you how to create your own circular logo using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys my name is Drool and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction and this is the final output. Now to create this first of all go to file and get a new document uh, and here my size is standard HD 1920 by 1080 in pixels and the resolution is 72 but if you are going to print it make it 300 then go and hit ok. And the first thing I will do is right click here and layer from background so my background is actually a layer now. After that right click here and get your paint bucket tool. Uh, and in the color select any color that is not white so I'm gonna go and get this color fill it now we will start by creating those circles on the outside so for that right click here on your shape options and get a ellipse tool and when you draw the circle hold your shift key uh, so you can draw a perfect circle and it doesn't go wobbly like this so hold your shift key and make it big right now circle is the same color as background so you can go to your fill option here and make it white uh, white uh, and you can say it properly. Now to get your circle in exact center, uh, make sure you have selected your circle layer, then press Ctrl A to select it, then activate your move tool and get the second option and the second last option. So it is in exact center. Now to get rid of the selection, go to select and deselect. Now we have to create a hole inside this circle. So for that, make sure you have the same round uh, shape tool, then hold your shift key and make a shape somewhere near here. And to get this shape in exact center, I'm going to press Ctrl A and the same procedure, get your move tool, select on second option and then second last option. So it is in exact center, we just cannot see it right now. So I'm going to go to select and deselect. Now so that this circle is visible, uh, let's go uh, and activate our shape tool. Uh, and in the fill, I'm going to make it some different color. Okay, now you can see what is going on. Now you have to make this circle bigger. So for that, press Ctrl T. And before you start making it big, hold your shift and alt key. So it will get bigger from the center. Exactly like this. So this line, keep it pretty thin uh, since it's gonna be totally outside. So that's fine. And after that, go and confirm it. Now to make a hole from this, hold your control key and select both of this layer, both of the circles. Then go to layer, then go to here, combine shapes and subtract from front shape. Click on it. So it will look something like this. After that we have to make a copy of it. So go and press Ctrl J. So we have a copy and this time make it smaller. So press Ctrl T. Hold your Alt and Shift key and make it smaller. Somewhere around here. Go and confirm it. But we want to make this circle a bit thick. So for that right click here and get your path selection tool. And this will allow you to select this exact inside of this circle. As you can see you will see the square dot. So select this one and then press Ctrl T uh, and again uh, try to make it smaller hold your Alt and Shift key and make it smaller. So this will allow to make it thicker. To make sure you have selected path uh, you can go and click here. You will see the square here and that is the confirmation. You see the difference? Okay we are clear. Okay now let's make both of the shapes white. So I'm gonna double click here and make this one white uh, and go here and make this one white. Okay, we are good. Now let's make the final circle. So go and create a new layer uh, and then I'm going to make another shape. Okay, let's go and make this one white. And now to keep it in center, Control A, get your move tool, second and second last. Okay, we are good. And you can also press Control D to remove the selection. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Once this is ready, make a copy of your this circle. So press Ctrl J uh, and this time go and change its color to anything different. Okay, this is fine. And make it smaller. Ctrl T, uh, Alt and Shift key and make it smaller. Okay, then go and confirm it. After that, make sure you have selected your shape tool here. And here in the fill, go and click on this box. So there is no fill right now. And in the stroke, go and make it black or any color that's not white. Okay, so the stroke is ready and I'm gonna go and make it a little bit thicker so it is visible. Okay, 9 pixel is big enough and then go here in the stroke style, go and make this dotted line. So you have this dots and after that, right click here and click on this rasterize layer option. Now we can use it as a selection. So hold your control key and click on thumbnail of this layer. 
so you have selection of your shape as you can see here and hide the eye of this layer as you can see so now we have only selection now we have to delete this uh, from your ellipse so for that go and click on this layer mask icon now it is exact opposite of what we need so make sure you have activated your layer mask and press ctrl i so now we have a really nice circle with this dotted gaps in it so all the hard work is done after that uh, you have to group all of these things together so click on this uh, your first shape layer hold your shift key and click on the top one and then press ctrl g so everything is in single group and name it okay we are good now it's time to add in the text so for that i'm gonna go and get my text tool and in the text i'm using trinkus regular the download link is in description and read the rules before you use font anywhere and read the rules before you use your fonts anywhere so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna also make sure that my color here is white of the text okay now i'm gonna go and type and also let's make it bigger double click here uh, go to this option here uh, and make it big big enough go and close it and click on this layer to confirm it uh, and let's go and make it you know what something different so we can see what is going on okay uh, this is okay hit okay and now grab your move tool and put it here Control t and you can now rotate it anyhow you want hold your shift key and make it bigger and to make that uh, line you saw in the picture uh, double click here so you can edit your text and right next to this l press 9 it is specific to this font pressing 9 doesn't work on every font like this so download this font i'm gonna go and confirm this thing okay uh, now move it exactly where you need okay now go and confirm it now let's make selection of this font so hold your control key and click on this thumbnail so you have the selection and after then uh, turn off this eye layer so you can see the entire shape properly activate your shape layer and go and apply this little layer mask icon after then make sure you have activated your layer mask and press ctrl i so now we have something that looks like this after that activate your text layer uh, and in the fill go and make it zero percent so right now it's invisible after that right click on this layer and go to blending options and here go and apply the stroke in the stroke uh, make it a little bit bigger okay that's pretty big go and make it white hit ok and again hit ok now i will do the same thing with another text so grab your text tool type here i'm gonna type photoshop uh, confirm this thing uh, and move it where you need it you can press ctrl t to rotate it and make it bigger smaller hold your shift key make it smaller go and confirm it but this time we already have a layer mask so i'm just gonna hold my control key and get selection of this photoshop click on this thumbnail uh, then hide this layer and this time activate your layer mask uh, get a brush tool from here and you have to paint with black color on your layer mask so it will erase it and then go and press ctrl t to remove the selection and you might be thinking why we need layer mask why don't we just simply delete it from the circle it's very less complicated but the main benefit of this is that let's say if you want to change the text you can double click here and first change your text and the circles so you can go right click here and simply delete your layer mask so all of your circles are safe and you can work on it anytime and to change the text you don't have to recreate all of the circle now i'm gonna press ctrl z okay now it's time to add in those galaxy so let's go and group everything again so this group hold your tutorial and photoshop both text layer and press ctrl g so now everything is in one single group and your shapes they are safe here in this different group and the biggest benefit is that now you can simply press ctrl t on this group and make it bigger smaller however you like so i'm gonna go and make it this little bit bigger confirm it now let's add in the galaxy and before that let's prepare the background so first of all activate your background right click and go to blending options and here go and get a gradient overlay in the gradient uh, i have standard black and white but instead of this black color go and make it something that is gray uh, like this then go and hit ok ok uh, and in the style go and make it radial and make it reverse so dark portion is outside and make the scale 150 then go and hit ok now let's add in the galaxy so for that go and activate your group layer uh, then go to file and go to place 
The download link to this uh, to Galaxy is in description. So go and activate this Galaxy, go and place it. Uh, and I'm gonna go and make it bigger, uh, something like this. Uh, then go and confirm it. After that, right click on your Galaxy and create a clipping mask. So the Galaxy will only show up here. Then press Ctrl T and let's rotate it somewhere like this. Okay, looking pretty cool. Go and confirm it. After then, let's add another Galaxy. So I'm gonna go to File, Place, uh, and select uh, which was okay. It was this Galaxy. This two Galaxy. Keep them in mind. Forget about all this stuff. Okay, so this is the second Galaxy. Go and place it. Then I'm gonna go and confirm it. And again, right click here and create a clipping mask. And then change this layer's blending mode to exclusion here. So we have effect that looks something like this. And now you can adjust the galaxy, get a move tool and adjust this one something like this. Now let's go and make the galaxy a little bit brighter. So for that, go and create a new adjustment layer and get the curves. In the curves, go and make it clipping mask. So the effect only stays on logo and make it a touch bright, not too much. And then go and close it and now let's make it colorful so for that go and create a new adjustment layer and get vibrance and again make it a clipping mask so effect only stays on logo uh, and let's make it all the way 100 so we have this really nice colors you can see the difference it makes awesome so the final logo is ready now let's go and see how we can use it on an image so first thing you will do is turn off your layer zero so you have this transparent background and after that go to file uh, and go to save and here let's go and name it and in the format you will go and select this png and save it hit ok here make it smallest and here make it none hit ok now let's go and open an image go to file uh, open let's go and open this image hit ok now let's place logo here so i'm gonna go to file uh, go to place and here we have this tutorial logo that we saved right now go and place it and I'm gonna press shift key and make it really tiny so the logo stays here and then you can go and confirm it so we just created logo and now we can use it anywhere we like so this is how you can use your logo as transparent background and if you want to use it as an entire image just turn this on and save it as a jpg so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below and if you are new here you can also click on any of these boxes to check out more tutorials by me or you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop